Hi guys, uh, I'm Darren. I'm Chase. And we're doing our first 10 minutes for Gears of War 4. What is that, Darren? What is the first 10 minutes? First 10 minutes is a segment where we're going to be playing the first 10 minutes of a game, whether it's good or bad, and uh, we're going to be talking about how we feel about it, and at the end we'll give like a brief summary of what we feel about the game. Well, that, was, that was professional. Thanks. Uh-oh. All right. Game so player. we're playing. So you got to join. you got to take control, oh, okay. remember? Take control, right trigger. Gotcha. Boom. Now we're in. So now we're playing the game. And so this is, I think this is like a really like interesting intro kind of style because things are exploding. Yeah, it's kind of giving you like a first like, hey, this is before we get into like our game. Here's the previous games we're gonna teach you how to play while it shows them off. So okay, kind of interesting. So it's kind of like tutorial. A, a tutorial level. Yeah, kind of your tutorial, and uh, also sets up like some previous stuff. So we're, we're not playing on the you know the hard difficulty like last time. So a little more of a breeze. I'm still with. I can't. I can't. I'm dead. Already? Yeah, I'm really bad at video games, actually. You don't, well, alright. Pause. You don't gain skills for playing games. I'm also dead by blue everyone else. It was... I didn't even notice you were over there. I, I keep losing you. <laughs> we're going on this side, so we're going to be over here. Uh, oh, okay. So, gotcha. not that side. Oh, no? This. Look, right this here. side? Right here. See me? Look, I'm right. I'm going to, I'm going to poke. Look, see that? Oh, that. Yeah, that's okay. me. Okay, I'm going. And we're going this way. Gotcha. They're going that way. We're splitting up. Oh. And then, like, after, you know, it shows a grenade, small area, blood, explosions. The good stuff. All the good stuff. All the good All the good things you come from to Gears War. Combat and gore. Like, that's the mainstays. And then okay. also touching buttons at the same time to be like, this All game's right. co-op, see? Yeah, I'm learning to touch stuff. Yeah. We're touching things together, which makes a game co-op. See, I wish it would tell me that. What? They, I wish the game would be like, hey! Oh, it's telling us stuff. Yeah. It's telling us it's how telling to us, actively like, reload. Yeah, how to active reload. Reloads I mean, your weapon. You can they pick up guns. It's like that should just be self-evident. You walk up to something and it's flashing. You go, "What's that?" And it tells you. It's it it more interactive okay. than anything. <laughs> like I, I, I rush into battle and I go, "Hello, how's your day?" <laughs> it's, it's not going to be going well much anymore. You're <laughs> probably going to die. Get him, Chase. I did not. I, I, I instead got God. You have, you have gotten God. Pick up some that's fine. I think that's like a reasonable. Oh, somebody else did it for me. <laughs> <laughs> I guess if the game's like, you're going too slow, we'll just do yeah. it yourself. The game doesn't like me. So I actually haven't seen this guy in this game at all. So he was like a big thing in Gears 1, 2, and 3 was this little robot. Oh, okay. And he'd like hack doors open for you, defend him. But I haven't seen him in Gears 4, which I, I guess makes it different in a way. Like, you know, I haven't seen that at all, which was like a huge thing in Gears 1, 2, and 3. Hit that, you know, drop a cement block on him. All the good things. Yeah, yeah. Environmental destruction is kind of like a thing they're... Uh, I don't think it's brand new to like really anything in environmental destruction, but their destructible okay. cover like uh, wooden stuff will break more now, yeah, yeah. Uh, stuff like that, which I, I like. I like the guns so far. Like in this game, uh, like I can't tell like a distinct difference besides like the ways that they shoot. Like I'm sure shotguns shoot different from well, like, rifles and stuff like well, that. Well, yeah, like if you're up close with a shotgun, it'll do yeah. more damage. And then like the semi auto rifle so, like, is better at a distance. Is it is it just range then? Yeah, range and damage will be like you know how the like your your retro lancer takes a lot more bullets than that like that uh that like, you know, your semi auto rifle. Okay. It, you know, semi auto rifle is like, you know, three shots, that person dies. But your lancer will be like, you know, thirty, like, you know, almost a full clip to take someone out because it's full auto. Yeah. You gotta be like you can be less precise with your, your shots. And how do you how do you think it looks? I think this game looks like fabulous. I, I think actually. it looks pretty cool. Yeah. I really like this intro. It, it's a good way of like quickly being like, familiar, familiar, familiarize yourself with the game, okay, and then also give you you know plot details and stuff at the mm -hmm. same time. Like that's the character from the first game who dies during it. Spoilers. Yeah, spoilers for that hot 360 game, launch title. Like me. Like, I can spoil the other games and be fine. Like we're talking about okay. Gears of War Four. Yeah, you should yeah, know about should, Gears of War. Not but it. that game, I'm not going to spoil that. Like, that's okay. a little too much. I got you. I, got you. Like, I, I respect something. In this world. Wong. <laughs> totally Wong. I can't say Oh my wrong. god, I got beaten. She came out of nowhere. Oh, you're fine. I'm gonna pick up the Hammer of Dawn and just like actually, you know, solve this problem. What's the Hammer of So Hammer Dawn was like the big thing in Gears of War 1 was like, this is like the, the killer weapon. And this is like the, the major weapon. So it does this. Major weapon. Oh, oh wow. Like cover But like it drops a laser beam on it. You can't hurt this guy with your regular weapon, so you gotta use the Hammer of Dawn, so... You wanna come up, you wanna come up here? Like, it's a little easier to defend from here. Yeah. Wanna press LB, we'll see. Oh, there you Yeah, multi-direct one is me. So, look right. Uh, like that, there it is. There you are. Just chillin', just doing this. You, you did it. 
<laughs> you did it! Wow, good job, everyone. All right, guys, well, that was the first 10 minutes of Gears of War 4. Uh, now we're gonna give a little quick summary of what we feel about the game. First 10 minutes of the game, it's fun at least to play for me. There's a couple of things like maybe I feel like as having not played before, it should explain a little bit better. Yeah. But I can tell like story-wise it's trying to, but like control-wise maybe not. I mean, besides that, I mean, it's, it looks like a really fun game. Mm -hmm. This is, I think this is a really cool intro to it all. I do mm -hmm. think the control stuff could have been explained better when I played the first time. I don't think it was explained well either there. I really did like the, um, the addition of like a like this, this story-wise because it's easy to forget especially when like the games themselves aren't super story heavy what you need to remember for the new games mm -hmm. and then bringing it together for all this was really cool for me i really did yeah. like it and then like the fountain of blood was pretty cool too yeah fountain of blood's all that was like, pretty fun fountain so. of blood's good in almost any game yeah put it in mario put it in zelda that's yeah. all i'm saying all right well that was first 10 minutes for gears of war 4 and uh, now back to the show